How can we break stereotypes? Don't make um, rash decisions about what, what these young people are based on society's statements or claims or stereotypes about them because it's not, it's not true. I think I had maybe one child that came in and, and broke things uh, and I asked them why were they breaking things. That child was angry. You know, uh, they were angry that they had been taken away from their parents. We were like the second or third foster home and he thought that maybe we was going to get rid of him too. Uh, so he was breaking things. Um, once I got to the bottom of it and told him that he wasn't going anywhere, you know, that, that I'm going to work with him, that we're going to work with you, uh, he stopped breaking stuff and he began to settle down. If they're breaking things, it's a reason behind the, the ill behavior that they have. You know, but if you just take the time out, you will get to the bottom of it. Because up underneath all that anger and frustration that that child has, it is really a great kid. I <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it, it, it's really a great kid that's just waiting for someone <laughs> to uh just because, you know, a kid is in the system doesn't mean that, you know, they're a problem. They're there, but it's not because of what they've done. It's because of things that have occurred in their life that was out of their control. They only report about the teenagers that do the bad things, but they don't ever talk about teenagers that's doing community service and things like that. Like I actually, with one of my first parents, she actually had a soup kitchen. I actually used to help her with the soup kitchen, you know, and it was a very unique experience for me because I had a chance to interact with people and see people from all different angles. You see the signs of a foster child, someone who's, who's come from neglect, someone who's come from famine or poverty and things like that, and society says that child will grow up to be a criminal, that child will grow up to, to underachieve or become complacent. And I think that not wanting to fall along those lines of, of those stereotypes has really driven me to be successful. And I think that I've met a lot of people who wanted to open doors for me because they've seen, they've seen how eager I was to learn and take advantage of, of opportunities to be successful. Some of the stereotypes about foster care are wrong. Why? Because I turned out excellent. <laughs> what are the rewards? The rewards of being adopted for me were freedom, stability, love, and peace. First we have family meetings and then we sit on at the table as a family and discuss what we're going to do as a family. It makes us feel like we are a family. When they first came to my house and start calling me mom and dad, it's nothing like it. It was like music to my ears. A bonding comes when <laughs> you got uh, some of your kids that are always calling you Stokes and they call in your Stokes in front of the other kids but then after a while he'll say, that's my dad right there. Advice for parents? My advice to adoptive and foster parents are just be there for the child. Just to know, just for them to know that you're there. That means so much to them because if you're just there for the money, they, they're gonna know you're there for the money. They will have to be patient, understanding, and just know that the things that the children are going through that are in care are the things that your child goes through through their adult and adolescence life anyway. Show this child love, the child will show you love back. You know, just treat the child as if they was your own, accept them, and, and don't try to just moonwalk through it. Because you're going to have your ups and your downs. I mean, even if it, you gave birth to the child, you're still going to have your ups and downs. But you just got to be patient, and in the end, you'll benefit greatly. You, know, you have to stay positive. Provide um, the love and comfort that these kids probably have never experienced. Uh, if, you know, if they seem to, you know, be uh, standoffish because they're not used to it, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Eventually, they'll understand what you're doing. They'll come around and they'll be more comfortable. You, you're providing love. You're providing positive support for them, positive encouragement for them, and that's going to make the difference in their life. I think success and care has everything to do with relationship and if the foster parents build in a good relationship with the kids, naturally they'll be successful. Advice for foster children? Try to get through your scaredness and, and give your parents a chance. Give them your foster parents a chance to do something for you. So if you put honesty into your relationship, then you'll get honesty out of it. Try to give them time to help you. If they probably knew, take your time and like just sit down and just not be 
like too worried about this situation. My message for the current foster children will be exactly this. You are some of the strongest people in today's society. You are, you are the people who have, who have the potential to grow up, do and be whatever you want to be because you've experienced nothing. You, you know what it's like to have nothing. And I, I think that lends you the, the humility and drive that, that is required to be successful in today's society. What does adoption mean to you? Adoption means to me you have closure that you're, you know that this is your home. You don't have to go nowhere else. You're just here to stay. To me, adoption means closure. I think that some kids have an interesting journey through the foster care system. Being adopted is just a culmination of, of all the times that you spent with whomever, foster parents, mentors, social workers. It's just a culmination of all those efforts. And, and to be able to, to you know, see the judge say, finally this has occurred is, is something that's really heartwarming. Now that you have heard from us, remember, what every child needs is family. Here is a message from the Director of Children and Family Services. These are our children, our relatives, our neighbors, the kids from down the street and around the corner. These children have so much love and so much potential. They just need someone to help them unlock those doors. Please consider opening your heart, opening your home to one of our children. You are what our children need a family. Thank you. This is Jim McCafferty from the Department of Children and Family Services.